Mauricio, welcome to Southampton. To start with, can you tell us how pleased you are to be the new manager of the club? Uh, yes, the first thing that I would like to express is that I'm really happy to be here. It's a pleasure for me. Uh, I would like uh, uh, to make the most of with this opportunity. I'm really, I'm really pleased about how people receive me, how uh, Les and, and Ross and Ralph included, uh, everybody was really kind with me from the beginning. And when I, when I hear his desire about the future of the club, and when I hear and when they express uh, the goal of the club for the next season or in the next few years, we were completely agree. And quickly, I, I am quickly feel that uh, will be for me a great opportunity. You know? Um, I'm really happy to be in the Premier League, to be in Southampton. Uh, I think uh, we can create the, the, a great move to, to, to bond the players and the people that are working in this training ground that is amazing. Um, and this is something that um, I got confidence to do the, my best for this team. Um, I'm really happy. This is my, my first feeling. No? And, and when you were speaking to Les and Ross and Ralph, did you really get the sense that your philosophy on football fits very well with Southampton Football Club's philosophy? Yeah, I was really surprised from, from the beginning because the first thing, they, they knew everything about me. Uh, and, and when they showed me the, the structure of the club, the, the people that they got working here. Um, a lot of professional working uh, for 11 players uh, every single day uh, is like a other team behind the 11 players that play this, the, the, the games. No? Um, I, I, I felt that uh, is the suitable context to for any manager in the world, no? um, and so Hanton got this. I I would like to uh, to make uh, everything that I got for the future, and um, I repeat that it's, it's a pleasure for me be a manager in the Premier League and in this club, no. You've had a chance to see the facilities here at the training ground at Staplewood. Just how impressed have have you been with them? Yeah, you got, the club got everything, no? Uh, the pitches are amazing, the, the, the changing room, the video rooms, and, and they are really prepared to compete in the top level, no? We, we know that uh, in the top, uh, the top level, the difference between the teams uh, are really close, no? Are really close uh, to compete with them, uh, we had to to do all all my best. The player had to be units and work as a team. That is my my best goal in this in this club because this this work work as a team. Everybody said, but it's really difficult to do it. <laughs> Of course, you're not the first manager from Argentina to take charge of Southampton. Maurizio Pochettino, of course, was here a couple of seasons ago. Is he somebody who you spoke to ahead of moving here to, to get a little bit of an insight into Southampton? As yes, well? we were talking about, uh, about the club, about the, the team, about the possibility that the club got to, to growing up in the future. But uh, I repeat that uh, obviously, the, you, you had to negotiate the, the, a lot of things, but uh, footballistic term, I felt quickly that, quickly that will be a great opportunity you know, for me. And I am really grateful with Mauricio. Um, and uh, I would like to do the same uh, and, and try to improve from last few seasons because the team they have been playing a good level no and i had to take the best thing from the past and try to prove this step to be better in the future no?
And of course, your players will be in for pre-season training on, on Monday. How excited are you about meeting them and how much are you looking forward to, to getting to work with them? Yeah, I would like to, I expect him to know, know them, try to talk with them. And I'm waiting for the other players that are coming from, from international competition. Um, but we know that uh, when you got important player, uh, this type of situation happens, no? Um, but uh, I really uh, prepare, or I'm really excited, waiting this moment, because I love to work. Uh, I feel that uh, this profession for me is, is like a vocation. I don't feel like it's a work, no? And I want to translate that to the player, try to enjoy, um, but working as better as we can, no? but enjoy uh, every, every single day. And can you give us a little bit of an insight into how you like your teams to, to play football and I guess what sort of a style you like to see? I think that it's the middle point uh, between what we have, what my player can do it, and what I like uh, to give them. No? And I think, I, I repeat that the player, the, the Southampton uh, has been played a good level with the past uh, few managers and I would like to keep the best thing from the past but, and, and, and try to, to improve because as a team, uh, the team don't have a limit to improve. No? And I think that we are in, the, in this step that is really difficult that we can give or we can be uh, more competitive, creating uh, the special in the dressing room, outside the pitch, inside the pitch, uh, with the employers, uh, with the people that is around the, the squad as well. No? Mm. And, and how excited are you about what you think you can achieve over these next couple of seasons and like you say, you know, trying to take that, that next step for the football club? We got uh, the ambition to do it. No? Uh, this is something that uh, the people uh, told me from the beginning and I feel the same. Uh, my goal as a professional is, is to be better every single day. And I want to translate that to my player as individual. And after as a team, uh, it's other uh, objective that I got because I think that the connection between them uh, can improve every single week, every single game. And um, I had to uh, repeat to, to make the most uh, of from uh, the good work that they were doing in the past and um, to be better uh, in, in the next season. And in your statement when you were appointed the manager, you mentioned how you want the club supporters to, to feel a real part of the team every single week when they, when they come to watch. Can you just tell us a little bit about how valuable you see the club's fans being for you and the team moving yes, forward? Yes, because for, for me to be competitive, uh, we need to everybody. To make the, 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 the people feel the proud of the team, we had to, to feel the, or to, to try to create this synergy between the players and the fans. We had to give them our, our effort, our passion, our work, and they will feel this. If they feel this, uh, I think that we will be easier in the future. And, and this is something that the people quickly, they will feel eh, when they see the player and the team is working together. Um, this is something that is, ponder, is, is important because when, when you are competing, the small details are, are the, the, the huge difference. No?